Hello everybody, and welcome to The Poor Man's Chemist. In this video, we are going to be making thallium azide. Because I am the thallium king of the internet, and if I don't do it, nobody will. I don't really like to play around with azides all that much. Y'all know me. Explodey shit is not really my deal. But thallium is my deal, and so we shall soldier on and create thallium azide because it's one more thallium compound I can add to the list of ones that I've done. And besides, thallium azide, believe it or not, is one of the safer metal azides, according to the literature. It's not as unstable as lead azide. It's supposed to be, well, at least when it comes to things like shock or friction, although fire and heat is supposed to make it very unhappy and it'll explode with those. But it's supposed to be stable enough that you can actually store this shit in a non-metallic, non-glass container. And apparently this is safe. Well, you know, as safe as something that will blow up if it gets hot, or I, I strongly suspect static electricity may also disagree with it. Um, because, you know, sparks are small, but they are very hot. Just very hot over a very small area. But how big does it have to be before it makes this stuff unhappy and go boom? I don't know. So we're going to be real careful about that. Um, what we have here is three and a half grams of thallium nitrate in here. And the stoichiometric amount of sodium azide is just under, um, I think it was like, 860 milligrams, but I went with 900 milligrams so that it would be slightly in excess. I am doing this under the canopy because it is sensitive to light. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can keep it to a minimum here. If I wasn't filming this, I would keep this wrapped in foil, but kind of hard to film shit when it's wrapped in foil, right? So this should be a very simple precipitation reaction. Like so. You focused piece of shit. I don't have enough shit to repeat this. Okay. Let's rinse this in there. Very nice. The literature said it was yellow brown, but that's probably stuff that has been exposed to light. Okay. There we go. So, now, see it there? Oh yes, nice and clumpy. Looks like it'll be easy to filter. And that is exactly what I intend to do next, is to filter it into this. And, um, yeah. Shit. And then after filtering it, we will rinse it and then put it in the desiccator to dry out so that we can make it go boom. And enjoy it. Oh, look, it's like cottage cheese. Okay. It's lumpy azide. Is that good? Well, I mean, it's good for us. Makes it easy to filter, is it? Oh, yeah. This stuff is supposed to have a very low solubility in water. Look at that. Explody toxic cottage cheese. Ooh, where are my magnets? Okay. Now, Jules, stay out of here. Good girl. Don't come around Daddy's toxic explodium. Ha! Little motherfucker always flings a little 
droplet of liquid into the air every time. I hate that shit. All right. That kind of looks like a lot of it. Oh, I don't like explosives. They give me the heebie-jeebies. Although I did consider this as one way to recycle thallium from the chloride, the monovalent chloride. But in the end, I decided it was far too dangerous to try to decompose thallium azide in a controlled manner. I figured it was better to just not go there. There we go. All right. Okay. Oh, that was very easy. Damn, look at that. Ha. Well, I'll tell you what. Just a couple of fucking layers of plastic tarp does so much to block out <laughs> pain in the ass light rays. <laughs> Makes this shit so much easier. You would think that it wouldn't like it, you know, because I mean, but, but I guess between all the tree cover, even if it is winter. Okay. Yeah, that really makes a difference. All right, so now just take that out of there, press it dry on some paper towels, and then I'm going to put that in the desiccator, and I will come back when it is dry, and we are ready to take a look at it and see if we can make it go bang. Okay, so it's been about four days that this stuff has been drying. My other desiccator broke, so I had to use this thing. It worked really well, though. So, here is our compound. This is our thallium azide. You can see, I hope, it is a slightly yellowish white. Um, it seems fairly okay so long as it's in here out of the sunlight. At least it seems like it has been so far. It is really cold out here, which makes the relative percent humidity very low. Since there's such low humidity, it makes me concerned about static electricity. Particularly since it seems like I got a fair amount of this stuff here. A little more than I was planning on doing. Oh well. That happens sometimes. Um, this is supposed to be stable enough to store. Although, I'm not feeling quite that brave. <laughs> I think what we should do is um, take this shit and maybe blow it up. I don't know. Yeah, it does seem like an awful lot of it, though. Let's see. Can you see? All right, well, this is nice. It's nice and dry. Just gonna slide right off there. Perfect. I know what we can do. We can go set fire to the paper and that will give us an idea of just how evil this shit really is. That's a good idea. But in the meantime, I want to be as gentle with this shit as possible because I don't know what it's going to do if I'm not. Don't you blow up on me, you son of a bitch. Okay, well, that's good. All right. Oh, let's go try to test burn the paper. All right. We've got this stuff out here in the blindingly bright sunlight. 
doesn't seem to be super photosensitive in the short term. Hmm. All right, which way is the wind blowing? That way, huh? Yeah. All right, let's switch sides. Oh, sure. Just blow that fucking smoke all over my goddamn phone. That's just great. Everything is just fine, so let's decide to change fucking direction. Okay, you can stop smoldering at any time and putting out that white death vapor. That would be great. Let's see if we come over here yet. Guess so. Fucking wind changed direction on us like 180 degrees as soon as it caught fire. A fucking course. Well. Regardless, we've seen that it does have a little bit of pop and sizzle to it. Hmm. I wonder what a more would be like. I don't know. Okay. Get her in position. Very good. Will you please stand up straight? Thank you. All right. Here we go. Yeah, I guess that was a lot. Well, it blasted a small crater in the coals. That's kind of cool. The giant gray cloud of thallium that rose up from this fucking thing was rather terrifying. I don't know, it drifted off. I made sure to go wherever the hell it wasn't. Holy fuck, man, that was one hell of a bang. That sounded like a shotgun going off. I'm amazed my roommate didn't come out here. <laughs> Look at those bits of paper all over the place. Yeah, buddy. See, I am so glad that I erred on the side of caution with this shit. Never hurts to be a little overly cautious when it comes to explosives. They give me the creeps anyway, man. They totally give me the fucking heebie-jeebies. Just like that, I mean... Could you imagine if something went wrong and that went off of my hand? Holy fuck, that would suck. Jesus, that would suck. I mean, that wasn't even confined and that was one hell of a bang. Yeah. See, this is why I don't play with explosives. It's just, ah, oh God, one wrong move, one little accident, one little mistake is all it takes. Then you got to face full of thallium and your hands blown off. Ugh. Well, if you have enjoyed this little explosive experiment, <laughs> give this video a like, maybe donate a few bucks to, um, 
pay for more thallium because uh yeah that that just blew the fuck up <laughs> subscribe comment share the video far and wide we're really kicking the insanity up a notch on this channel boy and until the next one you guys i will see you later damn that was pretty awesome i can see why people play with this shit <laughs>